Dr. Paul here. We've got a little possible splinter. Let's go take a look. Hello, how are you doing? Good. I love your hair. So what are we doing today? You got something going on with your, your finger? Look guys, gloves. This is, this is amazing. I have reached the 21st century. You know, when you bend the knuckle, you can kind of see a little dark line underneath. I think that's a little splinter. I know when you came in, you were wondering if it was a wart. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and just clean it up with alcohol. You're gonna feel a little poke. You can squeeze my hand, squeeze my hand. Good job not moving. Mm -hmm. So this is the part where you might feel it sting a little bit. That should numb it though, I think. Did you feel it? Thinking. Did you feel anything yet? Not really. It, it does hurt. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Now. That was the hard part. Should be numbing after that. That was the hard part. Still hurts? It's fine. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, then. It still hurts. I'm sorry. No? <laughs> you just thought it would? Oh, am I squeezing your hand? Is that what's hurting? Very brave. That hurts a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was the n more, I was putting a little more numbing <laughs> medicine. So that should be a little number now. It feels much better. Okay. Dr. Paul here. So you saw me struggle and struggle to get out what I thought was a splinter. I'm not sure I got it. So this was one of those few frustrating times where I was pretty sure that's what it was. When I got in there, as you've seen with that needle and I'm working and working at it, uh, perhaps it was in there long enough that it had disintegrated and all that was left was just staining of the tissue because there really was nothing to really pull out or extract. Uh, what you saw, I, I use a technique where I have one of my nails sort of digging at the edge of it, pushing it towards the opening I've created with the needle, and there was just nothing to push out. And so then I would go in with the needle and try to catch it and pull it out, and there was really nothing to catch. So that was one of those, um, probably could have left it alone. So what we did do is open that up a little bit. She was having some pain and tenderness in the area, so my hope is with soaks, we instructed mom to do some soaks and some Epsom salts. Uh, she can apply a little mupirocin, which is a nice antibiotic that covers staph and strep. And um, you know, I'm happy to report I haven't heard any problems as a result of this, so I'm, I think we've helped, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul versus Mystery Splinter. Dr. Paul versus the possible Mystery Splinter. <laughs>